Today's video is going to be a makeup one. I'm going to be doing my, well I call it my go-to glam look, but it's not really. It's just like a glam look that I would wear. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a glam makeup look. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, now we're going. Okay, so for starters to prime, I'm gonna be using the Kills Ultra Face Cream. This is really lovely. It makes your milk, milk up. <laughs> it makes your makeup mount really nice. Foundation, I'm going for the Revlon Colorstay in Natural Beige. I think I'm gonna go for like one and a half pumps because this foundation is nice and buildable. It feels really weird to um, start doing my makeup right now because I've got to go back out to work this evening. But I keep wanting to do videos on my days off and then where I've been at work, I just feel so tired. So I want to sit there and be lazy. So I just thought, well, seeing as I'm busy on a work day, I may as well like kind of make the most of like a productive day sort of thing. You know what? I'm gonna take these earrings out and tie my hair back because it's getting really stressful just to put foundation on. Concealer, Revolution, Conceal and Define in C3. My back is killing me. <laughs> to set the foundation and concealer, I'm going in for the Rimmel London Match Perfection Loose Powder. Just got a bake under my eyes. I've probably got like loads of dog hairs all over me that you can see in the cameras. Next up is a bit of contour and bronzing, going in with the Hoola by Benefit with my fluffy angled brush. I'm just gonna like hold my mirror between my knees. Yeah, a little bit of a nose contour in there. I'd expect my bronzing looks patchy as hell in the camera, but there's nothing I can do about that. This is just how I do my makeup. Tell me how to change it if it does look patchy. I don't know. Um, blush. Going in with the Tarte Blush in Mysterious. Up next we are highlighting. This isn't the usual highlighting brush I use. I think it's in the drawer and I can't be bothered to get up to be honest with you. So we're gonna give this a go. I'm highlighting with Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Can you see that on camera? I'm not too sure. I feel like it doesn't pick up too well on camera, but it's a really nice, um, like just a natural glowy highlighter. Can you see my highlighter or not? Little bit on the end of the nose. Okay, I'm moving on to eyebrows with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in 2.5. Just gonna start by brushing out my brows. Might try and get like, when I do glam makeup, I like them to be a little bit more bolder than I'd usually do them. I'm gonna use a bit of concealer to um, neaten up my brows. And to finish off the brows, going in with some Gimme Brow by Benefit in the shade number two. I don't know why, but this right eyebrow has are just going very Spocky. <gasps> I actually used to have kind of like really bad Spock eyebrows in college. Oh my god, what were you thinking? I'm sure we've all had our bad eyebrow stages. 
It's like you see them memes about the kids these days. They don't have that phase of like the crap eyebrows and like that Maybelline mousse foundation. They just skip straight ahead to being like makeup artist. I just, I don't, I don't know how that works out at all. Stay in your lane eyebrows. Before I continue with my eyes, I'm gonna do one layer of setting spray. And for this one, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus. Prep and Prime. I feel so fresh. Do you know what? I think this is the first video that I've done in ages where I'm not sweating. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> like I'm enjoying this not sweaty life. Okay, now we are moving on to the eyes. Today I'm going to be using the Venus XL palette. First shade we're dipping into is the shade Flora and kind of like doing this all over the top lid. Okay, so that's that bit completed. I'm next gonna kind of like start to deepen up the outer corner and the like crease bit. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Passion. <laughs> it funny when you um look back on like old pictures of makeup that you once did and you thought it just looked so amazing at the time and you felt so good about it when you look back on it, it actually looks really shit <laughs> like it's funny how you build your skills and stuff like this but you sort of don't even realize that you're doing it until you really do look back on old pictures so we're deepening up the outer corner and the crease bit even more i'm just like kind of gonna I don't really see much of a difference between the colours, so like Triumph Supreme and Aphrodite, like just like dabble in a bit of each <laughs> and then proceed to darken up those eyes. When it gets like into the darker colours I try to not blend it out quite as far, you know? I mean I'm terrible at trying to get the ombre effect of eyeshadow but I attempt it. I'm gonna go in with them same dark shades and then do my like lower eye bit there which I never know what to call for some reason. I don't like it to be too dark though so I'm gonna add a little bit of passion in again. Okay we're starting to get fallout. Now it's time to cut the crease. Just going back in with my Revolution Concealer. I'm never amazing at cut creases, but it literally doesn't matter, okay? That one's gone a bit square, but it doesn't matter. Just gotta work with it. Like you can see, this one's gone like, it's got like a corner to it, but we can fix it. Okay, I'm gonna add like some like, like a shimmery eyeshadow, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go with the shade Heavenly from the Venus 3 palette. I didn't really mean to use all Lime Crime palettes, but. So I like to go in with my finger and put it all over to get like the shimmery out. And then I use a brush to go around the edges. The last step of the eyeshadow, I'm going to, which color glitter should I use? Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Distortion. And then I'm gonna do a line, like I'm gonna outline the cut crease basically. quick little hydration break. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my coal liner isn't even over here, so I'm gonna use like a really faint line of my lip liner on my waterline. Gonna prepare my lashes for fake lashes. And I actually use a separate mascara for my bottom lashes. It's the Maybelline Falsy one, but 
I only use this because it's, it's like quite dried up. I don't like it when there's too much product in my lower lashes, so I always do keep like my older mascaras that I had previous to my new one, if that makes sense. Like it's not like massively old, but it's a more dried up one. Do you know what? I might actually go for the shade Beam in the Venus 3 palette. Just take it on a little flat brush. It's actually really pretty. I hope you can see this. Gonna go back in with my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner. And then, mm, do I wanna use this? Oh yeah, whatever. Mm, actually, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna, yeah, like that. And then dab it out of my finger. God knows where my Tarte eyeliner went. I've gotta use this like um, cheap collection one. It's not for me. Okay, I'm just gonna do like, you know, standard winged eyeliner. Okay, gonna finish it off by adding on some lashes. Going in with my favourite Morphe Malibu lashes. <laughs> just like blowing my lashes dry, like not even realising me and my dog are like just staring each other in the eyes. <laughs> okay people, we've got lashes on. Eyes are done! We're gonna be moving on to lips now. I don't actually know what lip colour I'm going for. But I'm gonna be starting off by lining my lips with a NYX suede in soft spoken lip pencil. This lip pencil is just like scratching the crap out of my lips. Look at how it's sharpened. Like I just don't know how to sharpen these. They just bloody fall apart. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go for Fenty Beauty Liquid Lip in Uncuffed. Something on the end I forgot is to spray the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I just wanna add this in because this just sorted me right out. Like if you're oily, then just use this. It's good. I'm not gonna spray it now because I need to take this makeup off for work later, but Use this, it's good. This is the finished look. What do you think? Let me just get a little close up. We did make it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, okay? Can somebody please give me some video ideas because I really like making YouTube videos, but it's so hard thinking of ideas for videos that I will actually enjoy filming. Give me some video ideas in the comments below. And once again, before I go, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I will hopefully see you in another video. Bye.